the war games. It's happening over these computers. And you see, I don't have anybody coaching me or anything. I mean, and, and you know, a lot of people <clears throat> wouldn't appreciate who I am or what I'm doing here. I can, I'll be refining and, and clarifying exactly what I'm channeling. You know, you are being forced into this language. It, you probably can't see me unless you have a channel. You know, you not, you're not a channel yet, but you have one. I mean, you have this synthetic version of broadcasting what? Something of yourself, maybe what? Who knows? Really, that's the question. And did you know that the social credit scoring thing is a very natural thing going on? That it isn't anything of the obvious that like you would say a, a see on Facebook? In fact, that place has been demolished, right? And so is YouTube, somewhat. Somewhat. Not really. If we can get into the truth of narcissism, you know, I cannot seem to find in my mind any more of a more important subject matter to start broadcasting because in general it has to do with the very condition that the human being is ending up in as being pretty much a, a, diseased with something that is called the mind and that subject matter is in fact a timeless issue and we already have plenty written and plenty of you know it's in the form of poetry and also there's religion that is called buddhism which zen buddhism and there's a different buddhism but zen buddhism particularly is what i'm familiar with but you can't get familiar with any of it I mean, really, it's just a conversation with between two people. One person is enlightened away from mind. Just enlightenment means that you've seen past the mind. And that isn't anything hocus pocus, kids. The mind doesn't like it, that's all. It's, man, the mind is one wicked bitch. Narcissist, that's the mind. And everybody has to contend with theirs. They have a deep responsibility to that. And this is a matter of your rebirth. And the, the, the stuff that they're talking about over um, language using and books and all this shit and, and even the origins of words and how you must understand where it all comes from, like in your perception. Um, it's all pointing at, like, it, it, the same thing. It's like, you know, this again, this again, this again, or this again, this again, this again, this again. Ah, don't mind Julian Assange, Julian Assange, but this again, damage, and you next. If you ever dare get a mind of your own um, to um, really just like, whoa, just um, check it out. So getting back to social media, the, <laughs> what's really going on with this this technology? Uh, its only hope is to expose what's really going on with it. But really, what's really going on with the human PC? Who was who was able to help synthesize all of this? And you have a task, you know, you have a responsibility. Everybody feels like that they have a responsibility towards civilization or whatever the fuck this mess is by going and voting. Well, um, so anyway, um, I knew I had something to say here. Thank you for your interest in the human uh, condition here on the planet. Um, we are going to begin to to just awaken. It's automatically, it's inevitable. This is actually the process of the life that you're going through as individuals. 
as individuals, babes, the, I said babes once this month, the Aquarius age, the Pluto in Aquarius, Aquarius points directly at the individual. You know, it's just like, if you can't understand anything about it, you can't respect it, look at your PC, look at your phone. Do you see how that, it ha it's its own thing, it's its own, um, it's different than your friends because why? Well, it's been customized. Blah, blah, blah. That's how you are as an individual. Getting deeper, babes, when you look into it, it's a certain, just, it's a mechanism. It's a mechanism. It, 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 it entails um, the capability of all kinds of different programming and installation, right? And, and then radiation and blah, blah, blah. That's just the way you are. You have to keep going general and peeling at the truth and peeling at the truth. This is what the individual is. This is what Aquarius is going to point at. This is what we already know. Just let's let's look at science. People diss science because there is fake science out there that doesn't even speak in general terms and say, look, can you please reduce the babble down and pretend like you have an experience beyond all of that and that you know words are can only be a gaslight and that there is actually, aside from that, beautiful poetry already and if we are to get any better at anything in reality here that we can find like we've ever had any wonder at all any wonder at all you're gonna have to conquer the mind first and i didn't just say you're gonna have to go in the mind and honor the mind and just follow the mind the mind is gonna be it has all the answers right there just make sure you spruce that mind up no nope you have to manage that puppy it's a fucking noisemaker. It's liable to be a filter to the point of dirtying everything up that comes up on, out on the other side, which is into your fucking perception of understanding of everything around you. And meditation is here. I would love to, and I'm going to, take the time to edit and post some of the videos that I've just slipped into. It's like, you know, the reality of Shana, who I really am, what's going on with me now as I've been meditating and made conscious of it for all my life. <laughs> it's just, pardon me. <clears throat> Being made conscious of, okay, first of all, we're going for, uh, through a process and we're not gonna be here uh, very long. We only have so much time. And so I've just been in this intense individual uh, school for me that I have no idea now and this is always happening precursor babe precursor and then guess what the PC is here to do it's only here to confirm your experiences it's just a confirmation you have a question did you have a question at all are you are you curious on your own or are you a fact checker and then somebody who just doesn't like other people who radiate kind of maybe like the way I do. So I've been put in jail for how many fucking times now? And I'm grateful for it actually as far as Facebook over there. I'm pretty sure there's about 15 people that wait and see and then they say, hit it. And they pose as friends there. They're like, and by the way, they ask me questions. And, and, and they're always trying to push me into the the draconian, you know, they want to turn me into, yes, you're a reptilian and you're actually demonic and possessed of evil. And it's like, too bad you don't know the difference, man. You just don't let yourself be free. And, and, and so based on what? A book that you read? You don't have an experience of your own? I'm about ready to tell you about an experience of my own. That This is just me, who I am. Now, what the fuck? Let's get it back to the individual that's going to be more and more present in society who says, you know what, you're making your choices in the moment. I don't care what you've been through as a so-called victim in the past. You're not your past. You are just this experience now. And are you awake or not? There are only two types of people this way. Are you a mind or are you reality? And that's really just what we're going to see as far as a sift and split and how there's going to be a cold wind in between because we're going to know the fact. Well, yeah, you chose that. And when you choose stupid, smart people aren't going to want to be around that. You know, that's really. Um... And then and then now there's the there's the illusion. Well, what's stupid, um, uh, stupid in what world? If you're in the world. Then stupid 
is being a spiritual person, being somebody who is self-examining and following an inner moral compass that might be if that we went inside of ourselves as individuals, say we say, fuck you and I'm going to sit here and listen to this. We come up with the same thing, which can be, I mean, and basically in general, it's the same as your outer world that, that some people, you know, you, you just know, it's like, you know what, that's a little bit too loud. That's a little bit too soft. Now I can hear it. That's a little bit too hot. That's a little bit too cold. Now I like this, right? This is a little bit too spicy. This is a little bit too uh, bland. This is amazing. Babes, after a while, getting back to the Aquarius age and what we already know, things are going to tally up as just being the way that it is. There is a bad version and then there's a good version of things, for God's sakes. Never censor anything as an individual. No. Bad practice. If you want to stay stupid, get into just go into your mind and say and, and play with your mind all day long and forget about the truth and reality what's really going on babes i mean get past it get past the positive and negative charges of everything being equal and necessary as being here totally perfect i hope you like this sermon anyway getting back to Just how that my in my personal life, okay, I love to share that boy, I had no idea. But I'm being called to um be well, first of all, you know, I'm I'm learning some things and it's 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 controversial, you know, when you start learning about these things, you're gonna meet the demons that say you should not know this. And it's a literal fight. You'll you'll find it in your personal life. It could be right underneath your roof. Congratulations, you, you, you're, uh, you're on track with just you can get away from it now and start learning what we're supposed to be learning next because we're getting into superhuman powers. It's not aliens coming to town, babes. It's realizing your superhuman powers in accordance to how that you can resonate with the truth enough. It, and it is the power of the mind. It is the power of imagination. It's not belief. Imagination goes beyond belief. Belief will halt your imagination and, and, and the possibility of your becoming in resonance with truths that will give you entrance into knowing something beyond your limitations as just what is out there that, that limits itself to being stuck on the ground and experiencing limitations the way it is. I mean, really, the way that all the laws seem to be there, like, you know, um, I didn't get too specific here, but I was getting that way in some other videos, and I'll be happy to post them up and, and edit them up. I have a lot of work to do there. You don't like to um, mess with it too much, you know, it's just best to be raw and bloop, blurp it out, bloop, bloop and blurp it out, but it's something, there's some important things that I need to start posting now that it's curious how that if, if you are a channel, an eye channel. The reason why your there's a reason why your phone it's called an iPhone. Phone there's the word one in it. But Tesla, he's the one who invented it. He he first called them phonies. Phonies because they are the synthetic version of you. They're the synthetic version of our cons of of uh um a mainframe that would be the concern of the human organism, which at the same time, it should be kind of pinging in your brains. If you, if you had any at all, you're receiving, you have a question, you're like, <laughs> or are you just really, are, do you have no question? And you think, you know, this is, they, they have the answers out there on, on channel four, CNN and BBC. And Good God, when that mind gets on the internet, fuck, I fucking thought about that for like um, 16 seconds, and I just went, 
Holy shit, no way. And yeah, there's people just... <laughs> manage your mind, manage that filtration system. As a matter of fact, it's hard to explain, Dave, but thanks for listening to all of this. I really appreciate the very few who dare be honest with themselves and that filter system is not really there there's just a passage from the eye to the heart that does not channel through the mind you see getting back to when you become a channel you know you're going to um experience both sides of the reality that we are interacting with here and it's um it's fun it's nothing that you know you'd be so relieved that it's nothing that is the obvious out there like what thinks it's running itself as a life the living dead babes the good news is and i know this sounds mean and getting back to the aquarius age yeah but the truth is mean to people living in fiction and it's just going to be right there blatant in front of our faces we'll be like well there's another one living at disneyland and, and, and we can just say, you're not helping much, and it sounds bad. And they'll treat us cold because why? We don't make enough, we don't make the money. We're not going to be making money, but what will we have? You know, I think there's going to be something changing, and I bet you anything. Because there isn't a future, there's just now, there is this realization. And I'm here, I, I'm pretty sure. that I have a bearing, I have a good bearing on some things that are really hard to put into words. I've been shown some things that I'm trying to stagger through here, these past, and it's not looking good. I'm, I'm seeing the trouble of looking bias and even a woman hater or a man hater and it's like no 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 and this is what some of these four videos that i leave on this video that won't be listed public but if you're interested you look into it is about it's getting to the detail cracking cracking the code is you know and when this is going on with people another 20 minute fucking video but the Aquarius age is going to illuminate this with people at the same time there's this awakening that is so intense that that the right information is here. It's all here already. We're just awakening to it. There's a movement. There is just at the same time, there is a fucking layer, an amplification of of just spam, babes. Spam. It's the old world clinging onto itself saying, we are more real. We are, you know, attached to our skin. And what else? I always, uh, one day I'm just going to press record on the Audible Girl. The Audible Girl, man, do you know of her uh, who travels the world with Christian? Very impressive, extremely inspiring, inspiring people out there right now, running the gamut. 